Welcome and thank you for joining us inside another informative weekend edition of Jamaica Magazine. I'm your host, Adrian Atkinson. What's on the agenda? Improvements to the mechanisms for cross-border trade, support for small business growth, and social investments empowering communities. Sit back and relax during this half hour as these and much more unfold after this quick break. Jamaica and its workforce are advancing quickly. Life-changing opportunities are arising. You need training and support. We are the Renewed Heart NSTA Trust, committed to providing new and emerging skills training and opportunities. Come to Heart. We'll help you claim your place in the workforce of the future. Thanks again for being here. Technology and service excellence are driving forces for business growth and profitability. We are opening the pages with a look at strategies the Trade Board is employing to improve the ease of doing business in the space of cross-border trade. In 2021, global exports of products amounted to 28 trillion US dollars. But how much of this global market can Jamaicans secure for their own enrichment? The Trade Board Limited TBL is looking to answer that question with strategic efforts to boost Jamaica's exports and secure a better share of the global market. You will agree that for Jamaica's economy to grow, we must earn fundamentally new monies from outside our shores. This can only be done through greater exports of Jamaica's goods and services. Strategies like the Step Up Exports with Trade Agreements project should help. It's putting existing and potential exporters in a position to increase utilization and benefit from the various trade agreements to which Jamaica is a signatory. Jamaica is party to 11 preferential trade agreements that facilitate the export of goods and services with little to no duty in the receiving countries. The Step Up Exports with Trade Agreements project was launched in May 2022. Its primary objective is to promote knowledge and use of nine preferential trade agreements for which the Trade Board has management responsibility. We are the designated government's authority to certify products which, um, which complies with the rules of origin criteria on the nine preferential trade agreements. This means that we have to, one, we have to analyze products to ensure conformance to prescribed criteria of the agreements. We have to issue a certificate of origin that permits the qualifying products to be granted preferential treatment. These preferential trade agreements include the revised Treaty of Chaguaramas that facilitates the free movement of goods, services, labor, and capital among CARICOM countries. There is the Caribbean Basin Initiative, which covers exports to the U.S., and the Caribbean-Canada Free Trade Agreement, CARIB-CAN for short. A generalized system of preference GSP was created under the World Trade Organization WTO to assist developing countries export in a one-way arrangement to developed countries. The other trade agreements which remain significantly underutilized are the CARICOM Venezuela Trade and Investment Agreement, the CARICOM Colombia Trade and Economic and Technical Cooperation Agreement, CARICOM Dominican Republic Free Trade Agreement, CARICOM Cuba Trade and Economic Cooperation Agreement and the CARICOM Costa Rica Free Trade Agreement. These have a combined market of 100 million in population. Jamaican exporters can also trade under the CARIFORUM European Union Economic Partnership Agreement and the CARIFORUM United Kingdom Economic Partnership Agreement, which are managed through Jamaica Customs. These trade agreements provide access but there are rules governing how and what goods qualify to be accepted in the partner countries. Among them is the rules of origin criteria. This looks at whether the goods or constituents are originating or non-originating from parties that are signatory to the particular treaty. Then there is the wholly produced criteria, 
looking at whether the final product was made with goods from the exporting country or another that is also party to the same treaty. There may also be a change of tariff criteria and value-added criteria governing these preferential arrangements. What we do at the Trade Board is we analyze the documents to ensure that whatever requirements or whatever composition make up your particular good that you're seeking to export qualifies under our preferential trade agreement to be certified um, for the rules of origin. After it is certified, then we issue a certificate of, of origin. Now, in layman terms, my understanding, a certificate of origin is like a passport. As if you want to travel, if you want to go to a particular place and you need a visa, for example, you good would need that visa to take it to that country to say that it is qualified. Once it qualifies, then you are able to get duty-free and a reduction of, of some taxes at the customs agencies. Some of the products for which certificates of origin have been issued under the CBI with the US, for example, include baked goods, black castor oil, pepper powder, and ketchup. Expert teams from the trade board are sent into the field to interact directly with manufacturers and potential exporters and increase awareness of the various trade agreements and their benefits. This is also part of the Step Up Export Initiative. This is not an exercise that we have started and we intend to stop, but we're going to continue to, to do that. Exporting on a commercial basis will require individuals or entities to first register as an exporter with Jamaica Promotions Corporation, JAMPRO. The Trade Board Limited will then carry out the necessary procedures to issue certificates of origin. What the Trade Board is doing, the other agencies doing is fantastic because what it is doing is allowing me to move the hassle of agreements from the, you know, with the ministries, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and so on and so forth, so that we can do our work. We have to focus on exports. We have to focus everything we make, we say how we make, how we get it export. And not just think about yourself. Talk to your friends, talk to the Trade Board, talk to Janak, talk to Jampro, talk to JBDC. We must study these many trade agreements to grow our exports exponentially, increase good employment, and make Jamaica a wealthy country. Nutritious food, succulent dishes, superior workmanship, and excellent service. Jamaica is on the go. Let's grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Let's harness the indomitable spirit of our most valued resource, our people. Let's support our local businesses. After all, buying Jamaican means building Jamaica. Mosquitoes will breed in containers that hold water. Tightly cover water storage containers such as drums, buckets, and tanks, or cover the water surface with cooking oil. Punch holes in all tins, plastic containers, and boxes to prevent the collection of water before disposal. Cover old tires or fill with dirt. Scrub all vases once per week to remove mosquito eggs and dispose of garbage by placing in plastic bags. Do your part to prevent mosquito breeding. A message from the Ministry of Health. Small businesses provide income and employment for a lot of Jamaicans. Many have the potential to grow big and contribute more to the economy. With these two realities in mind, government is ensuring small and medium enterprises have the means to achieve sustainable growth. Watch this next feature to learn more. The VTA program has taught DBJ a lot. We do recognize in times we have to pivot from our experience and using the lessons learned, we chart a new course. Following the lessons learned, we have now developed the Gemini program. This program is designed to support the growth and development 
of MSMEs, enabling them to improve their operational efficiency, enhance their marketing competitiveness, access finance, and ultimately increase their chances of success. This program, as highlighted, is a strategic partnership between the DBJ and the JBDC, and especially its network of small business development centers, SBDCs, that are spread across the island. MSMEs onboarded on this program will be assessed. A work plan will be created by the JBDC to support and move each MSMEs along the business life cycle. All MSMEs accessing the Gemini program will be assessed, tiered, and placed in one of four business development program that are currently executed by the JBDC. MSMEs will benefit from closer guidance, hand-holding, and training in addition to the specific needed grant support. For example, their business plan, their financial statement, or digital services. Under the Gemini program, DBJ and the JBDC will also work to expand its registry of consultants, business development services, to better provide the diverse skill set and services needed by the MSMEs. A key component of the program is the assessment of the MSMEs to ascertain their needs and address them to increase their capacity. The JBDC network consists of 14 SBDCs, which are located island-wide. MSMEs will be able to receive technical assistance no matter where in the island of Jamaica they are. The DBJ will support each MSMEs by covering up to 80% of the cost of the program that has been developed by the JBDC. I am happy to advise that interested MSMEs can now apply to the program via www.dbjgemini.com. Then that will be channeled through, through JBDC. Robust assessment will be done. Appropriate program will be developed accordingly based on where you are and facilitate your movement from point A to point B. That will be priced and then implementation will begin. So the eligibility criteria include the following. It said with the companies of Jamaica, 51% owned by a local entrepreneur, valid TRN. In operation, there is a commitment letter that will be a part of the engagement to be a member or a client of the network. The initial target is 100 MSMEs for the hand-holding component of it. Um, however, we anticipate that um, upwards, uh, up to 1,000 MSMEs will participate in various aspects of, of the program over the period of the year. There is going to be a robust assessment of the needs and from the robust assessment and that gap assessment we call it an enterprise development plan that is done specific needs would be identified specific gaps would be identified we have gone through the whole program as it's designed and we are now very confident that we are at the point where we have a worthwhile robust program that um, our MSMEs will benefit from. Let us all continue to collaborate and support our MSMEs as they play a key role in the economic growth and development of Jamaica. play a pivotal role in proactively filling up the blood bank by donating blood, by encouraging those who can donate to do so regularly, and by offering support, whatever that looks like. So be it to retweet it, be it to ask a family member, tell a friend to tell a friend, a co-worker, a colleague, even a stranger. One liter of blood can save three lives. You can give half of that at any of the Ministry of Health and Wellness's blood collection sites. There is no time to wait in a time of crisis where blood is needed. Every passing moment, the life of someone who needs blood hangs in the balance. I stand here before you as a testimony of the life-saving effects of donating blood. Someone gave, that's why I am alive today. If you are 17 to 60 years old and in good health, 
Please give so others can live. Citizens across various communities have benefited from empowering investments to better their lives through the Jamaica Social Investment Fund. Is a bit of that story of change unfolding right across Jamaica. The Integrated Community Development Project, ICDP, implemented by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSIF, has transformed the lives of residents living in 18 economically vulnerable and socially volatile inner-city communities. The project really had set out to target the restructuring, the urban renewal of the communities. We use a methodology called crime prevention through environmental design. And the idea is that you improve the environment first and then concurrently engage the youth and the residents and address issues why they are vulnerable and how we can mitigate against it. ICDP is funded by the World Bank to the tune of 42 million US dollars for a period from 2014 to 2021. For the seven years we've been working on ICDP, we believe we've had creditable results. We were able to benefit over 89,000 persons, and this was done under three different components. The first looked at access to infrastructure and basic services, and the others looked at services as well as livelihoods and capacity building for our ministries, departments and agencies, as well as community groups. The integrated infrastructure projects included road rehabilitation, water supply, drainage, sewage sanitation, and zinc fence substitution. We would have completed a cumulative total of 47 kilometers of road. It would include approximately 47 kilometers also of surface drainage. We would have supplied access to water to over 12,000 households and sanitary sewage to in excess of 1,300 households. And with regard to zinc fencing, over 3,000 households would have been serviced, which is equivalent to six or 7,000 kilometers of zinc fencing. Well, since JSF if coming, it's only improvement. Everybody I take taxis come out of them yard, the people with the products who go to market, people who go to school, even generally persons who are going out now. They call taxi as they come for me at my gate. Operation Certification was a partnership between the Registrar General Department and the Jamaica Social Investment Fund to provide 6,000 birth certificates to the beneficiaries in the 18 ICDP communities. So it was very important for us to ensure that all Jamaicans are accounted for and all Jamaicans are able to access different sort of services. The ICDP has pumped more than $300 million into the Alternative Livelihood Skills Program. It's designed to actually move young persons from challenge spaces, from the corners, quickly into an income earning position, whether it's through job placement or entrepreneurship as a result of a skill that they would have acquired. The program targets young persons 18 to 25. We were able to attract company like CAC 2000 in air conditioning, where these young persons um, were trained as GTAC technician, which is a global um, certification. We attracted entities like main event in terms of event management, and the trainers were very elite trainers. We work with entities um, such as the pre-UA where they were trained in a number of areas. We provide the NWC as a support, a cadre of skilled young persons, both men and women, that were trained as water warden. We had one training component called the Blue Economy, where they were trained as lifeguard and, and scuba diver. They were trained as small boat repairs technician, and we looked at programs like online entrepreneurship, where these persons are trained in gig work. ICDP is going to be remembered for the way it allowed the community members to work together as a collective. So in telling the ICDP story, certainly 
while we will focus on the physical transformation, certainly I think the greatest story is the people being transformed. It's the best organization I ever see. They work for the people so much. The people love everything about Joseph. Know your numbers and control the keys to a healthier heart. Know the numbers for your blood pressure, cholesterol level, blood glucose level and your weight and body mass index. Find out the risks they represent and what you need to do to stay healthy. Talk to your doctor and start making healthy lifestyle choices to prevent a heart attack or stroke. Summer is the time for fun, which may mean travel. It's also the time when parents are enrolling children in school for the next academic year. Both of these things may require a birth certificate. There are many other reasons to secure this important identifier and no reason to delay. We walk you through the process next. The Registrar General's Department, RGD, is an executive agency and Jamaica's sole repository of birth records. Every birth that occurs in Jamaica must be registered with the RGD. This establishes a permanent and official record of each person's existence, where they were born, and the identity of their parents. This affords the individual the right to an official identity and nationality, which is also the basis for accessing social and economic benefits. The registration process typically begins shortly after the mother gives birth in hospital or a birthing facility where the relevant form is completed by a registration officer. The process is complete once all relevant signatures are affixed to the document and the registration fee is paid. Some parents are required to do a follow-up visit with the RGD for one or more reasons. If the couple is unmarried, they may have to visit to have the father's particulars added to the form. If a child's name was not decided at birth, the parent must submit a certification of naming form. The birth certificate will be issued within three months for babies who were named in the hospital. Where the registration of birth is done digitally, the RGD also has the capacity to provide digital birth certificates so that parents will be able to leave the hospital with the document. Beyond bedside registration, to get a birth certificate, you must apply to the Registrar General's department. This can be done online at www.rgd.gov.jm or by visiting any of the RGD's offices across the country. When applying, ensure that you have the following information for the person or child on whose behalf you are seeking the birth certificate. The full and correct spelling of the person's name, their sex, date, and place of birth, as well as the parish. You also need the birth entry number, full and correct spelling of the person's mother and father's names, date, and place of registration. If you don't have a birth entry number, you will need to fill out an online birth search application form. The birth entry number is on the top right-hand corner of the birth certificate, usually two letters and three or four numbers if you have an old one, and on the certificate of registry or the pink slip. Complete the application form and make the required payment for either the express or regular service using your credit or visa debit card. The Registrar General's Department lists the costs for getting a certified copy of a birth certificate on its website. The current price to get the first copy is $1,500 Jamaican dollars. Additional copies will cost $500 each. Normally, it takes anywhere between six and eight weeks to process a birth certificate application. However, you can make use of the RGD's 7 to 10 business days express service or 3 to 4 business days express service. If you are overseas, you also have the option of asking a family member or friend in Jamaica to assist you with getting the birth certificate. This option is usually less costly 
and tends to be the fastest route. Express applications for overseas customers are processed within 7 to 10 business days and ordinary applications are processed within 4 to 6 weeks. All overseas customers will receive two copies of the certificate at costs based on the region in which they reside. If the child was delivered at home or any place outside of a hospital or birthing center, the parents must visit the RGD with an informant, that is, a witness or household member, to register the birth. Ideally, this should take place within six weeks of the birth or up to a year, the latest. Persons who fail to register their children's birth within the specified year will have to complete a late registration form. This then creates a record of the birth, which is needed before making an application for a birth certificate. Among the information required for completing the late registration form are your child's first primary or prep school records, baptismal record, three statutory declarations, a list of all children born to the mother, and a certificate of naming. A late registration fee of $6,000 is charged for processing in four to six weeks and $8,500 for seven to 10 business days. Parents will be interviewed as part of the application process and will receive a birth certificate when the process is completed with the standard RGD service cost and processing time applied. Keep we island clean, so clean. From the peaks to the beach, so clean. Not a tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. Keep we island clean, so clean. From the peaks to the beach, so clean. Not a tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. No dash, no paper, no dash, no plastic Dispose your garbage responsibly No know how to recycle, learn the pick And if you drop it, better pick up every piece of it Plastic starts forever, don't forget the bits Cause when them touch the street, them end up in at the sea Collect pan the reef where they fish them feed And when you want seafood, I eat your eat Island clean, so clean From the peaks to the beach, so clean No dirty of Jamaica, please don't do it no dati of Jamaica No dati of Jamaica No dati of Jamaica No dati of Jamaica This is where we end the program, but only for today. Be here on this station tomorrow, as we will have much more to share. Until then, there are lots to watch over on our website, gis.gov.jm. On behalf of the entire production team, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Remember, live good and do take care. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Jamaica.